So today, I'm going to be assisting you with planning your upcoming vacation. Alright, so first, we will get you into the system. I'll ask you some questions, and then we'll have a look at some brochures, try and get an idea of where you'd like to go, and then we'll get everything booked for you. Alright, so let me first ask you, do you already have an account with us? Okay. Let me just quickly get you into our system. So can you please let me know your full name? Is that H-E-N-D? Okay. Alright, and can I have your date of birth? Can I have your home address? Alright, and the city please? Okay, zip code? Alright, and the best phone number to reach you? specific to finding the best trip for you. So have you been on any trips recently? Okay. Do you usually travel the same time every year? some ideas of places you might like to go. Alright, here we are. Okay, so the first question I have for you. Uh, do you know exactly what dates you are planning on traveling? dates flexible? Okay. Alright. Next question, are you traveling alone with friends, family? Okay. Okay, about how many people will be included in your itinerary? So for the hotel, can you please let me know, are you looking for something that has an all-inclusive option or a meal option? Okay. Okay. And how about for your travel? Are you planning to travel by plane, by car, or some other form of transportation? Okay. Now, do you have a preference for airline? Okay. All right. Okay, but not. All right. I'm just going to ask you a few questions about your most recent trips. Okay, so you said you travel every summer around the same time each year. Okay, so can you tell me about your last trip that you went on? Okay. And where did you stay there? Okay. Alright. And can you let me know what was the main purpose of that trip? Was that more for a relaxation, sightseeing? Okay. 
that would be both, I see. Alright, and how about the year before that? Okay. And where did you stay there? Okay. And was that more for relaxation, sightseeing, visiting? Okay. And how long did you stay there? Alright. And that's the most recent things you've had. So let me ask you, um, do you have a range in price that you are looking to meet? All right, anywhere from, and what would be the upper limit of that? Okay. And that would be including your accommodations as well as all of the food and other um, costs that you might have while on that trip. Okay. All right, so let me just ask you, um, are you looking to visit someplace new that you've never been to before? All right. So, um, now if you're traveling by plane, do you think that you will be, um, wanting to rent a car so that you can venture away from the hotel a bit and explore the area. Okay. Now let me ask, do you have any special needs or does anyone in your group have any special needs? Okay. Okay, no. All right. Well, that makes it a little easier here. Um, okay, so let me ask you, is there um, any certain part of the world that you can let me know? Will you be traveling internationally? You'll be staying in the United States. Okay. Alright, so since we're going to be staying in the United States here, so can you tell me, um, is there any states here that you have always wanted to, vi to visit but just never have gotten a chance to? Mm hmm Okay. Here. All right. Okay. So it looks like you've traveled mainly on the east coast, a bit down south. Okay, once north. Okay. Been here. All right. Alright, so the options are pretty much open for you, it seems. Right. So, I think what we'll do next is going to show you some brochures of different areas that I think you might be interested in. And that might help to make a decision, okay? So let me just clear up some space here. And I have these binders because I do believe I will need to organize these brochures that I have. So please forgive uh, the uh, 
large pile of unorganized things here. These are all newer brochures that I've been meaning to put together. these you can sort of be browsing and just let me know if there's one that you see that you'd like to take a look at So have you done any internet searching yourself? Just a little. Okay, yeah, there's so many options. Okay, so I'm going to organize these according to their locations in general areas of the world or the country. I think they're mostly Mexico and the United States here. So this one is for Cancun. So I'll put that international. Okay, another one for Mexico. Mexico, uh, the Cancun area is a very fun trip if you know where to go. Let's see, this one is the Great Lakes area, the United States, or Canada. So let's, let's put Mexico up here. Okay, let's see, another one for Fort Erie. These all belong together. One is the Finger Lakes. This is another very beautiful place to visit. Finger Lakes, New York, which is also in the vicinity of the Great Lakes, the Erie Canal, Lake Ontario. Okay, let's see. This one is uh, for East Coast. East Coast Beaches, New Jersey. This one here, another beautiful area with lots of different, um, different beaches. This one as well, Assateague Boat Tours. This is East Coast, um, East Coast. Virginia, Maryland area. So we'll keep the East Coast together. And here we have, we also have maps if you need. This is for Florida. Florida transportation map. Lots of beautiful places to visit in Florida as well. This is for Maryland. Another map here. If ever needed. If you decide to drive. Okay. I've got maps available. We'll keep these all together. Elk County. This is in Pennsylvania. Lots of places to visit if you're looking for more of a camping type trip. So this is all East Coast. Pocono biking. That goes in with the Pennsylvania. Let's see, I have some coupons. Different things that they send. This is for Atlantic City in New Jersey. Okay, here we have New Jersey. 
Marine Digest. Okay, so if you are interested in doing some fishing, ocean um, saltwater fishing, any of the beaches along the east coast might be a good idea. Here we have Alaska. Okay, this is new. Let's see. Okay, so Alaska, that's in its own category. We'll We'll just put that one over to the west coast, west of here. Okay, Anchorage, Alaska. Have you ever been to Alaska? Alright, so we've got a map here. And lots of information. Just let me know any that you might want for me to put aside, okay? Alaska. Lots of different things to see and do. That's a unique sort of trip. Here we have Baltimore, Maryland. It's another East Coast trip. Lots of sea life. An aquarium there. It's a nice little city to walk around, sightsee, eat, lots of good food, nightlife. Okay, so we'll put that with East Coast. Delaware. Have you been to Delaware? Delaware has some beautiful beaches. Entertainment. Okay. Activities. Included in each of these, we've got a map of the area. Okay. East Coast. Again, Maryland. Okay. And this includes more than uh, just the beach. Okay, there's different regions of all of these states. Okay, Maryland, we've got Western Maryland, the Capital Region, Central Maryland, Southern Maryland, and the Eastern Shore. Okay. Are you someone who likes to visit historical sites? Okay, this is Ocean City Historical Museum. This is in New Jersey. I have lots of East Coast. Okay. Here we have Maine. Have you been to Maine? Okay, it's in the northeast. We've got Florida to the south. So Maine, here is a visitor's guide. And we have Maine invites you. Beautiful, beautiful area of the country. Now, of course, some of these places you might want to visit at certain times of the year. Okay, lots of beautiful things in nature to see there. And here we go, Louisiana. Have you been to any part of Louisiana? Look at that tree. Feed your soul. Known for Lots of good food, entertainment, music, art, lots of things to do. The Greater New Orleans area. Okay. Okay. So we'll put this 
this down to the south. Okay, now we get into Hawaii. Have you ever been to Hawaii? It's a beautiful, beautiful trip to make. The Hawaiian Islands. It's a little map. This is a very special trip to make. A lot of beautiful, beautiful things to see. Expect lots of relaxation, sightseeing. Great food, lots of beautiful things in nature to see. Okay, so we will put this over to the western area here, another Hawaiian island, Oahu. think that this might be an option for you. You might want to spend a little more time if you are planning to visit Hawaii. It's just one of those bigger trips that you might want to give yourself plenty of time to explore there. Okay. And here we have California, West Coast, United States. This might be a nice option for you because there are a lot of different places to visit in California. So depending on where you choose to stay, uh, you will get a different experience. You can always easily travel from area to area. Lots to see in California as well. Lots to do. A lot of entertainment, beach, nature, uh, sightseeing. So we've got a map. Okay, if you're planning to travel throughout California by car. More here in California. Okay, so if you do choose some place in California, you will have to sort of do a lot of planning as there are a lot of options for you. And here we have some more East Coast. We've got some more New Jersey beaches. This is the Wildwoods. Okay, so do you know anything about the New Jersey beach area? Okay. Yes, there are, um, some of the beaches have the boardwalks where there's a lot of fun games and rides, lots of food. So that's uh, right on the beach, so that's, that's a fun place for kids. Let's see, East Coast there. One on New Jersey, and here this one this gets a little more into the different times of year where you might want to visit. Okay. Southern New Jersey again, Cape May, Atlantic City, Cumberland Counties. Lots to do and see in New Jersey. Beaches as well. It's very beautiful. There's some more New Jersey. Avalon, Stone Harbor, Seven Mile Beach. Okay, so 
similar to California, there's a lot of different beaches to see in New Jersey, and each sort of has a different vibe. Okay, somewhere on the Finger Lakes, more specific to just the Finger Lakes in New York. Okay, it's a beautiful area. So be a little more relaxation, sightseeing, beautiful nature, lake area, camping, outdoor type um, activities. Ontario, Canada. Okay, again up north. A lot of sightseeing, beautiful things in nature to visit, entertainment. Okay, Thunder Bay. So we will put this. The International and again the Great Lakes. Okay, uh, this is all about the um, Lake Superior Circle Tour. So, this is uh, includes parts of Ontario, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan. So, it's a nice little trip there. You get to see different parts of the northern part of the country, as well as some of Canada. Okay. So, let's see. So, just by browsing through these catalogs, do you think you've gotten any idea of where you might like to travel to? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you think you'd like to go someplace where you'll be out in nature, okay, where there's also some adventure, all right, someplace unexpected, okay, and someplace you have not been to before. All right. You know, I think I have an idea for you. Might be someplace a little unexpected something that is a part of the air, uh, country that often gets forgotten. That one's a little too much in there. Um, but it is a place that might have everything that you're looking for. I'm going to go and grab something. I'll be right back. Alright. Gonna make a little room here. Now, let's see. You may be surprised at my recommendation for you. Let's see, we'll put these here. Yes, I can see. My recommendation is Arkansas. Yes, I know it may come as a surprise. 
a bit of a surprise suggestion. Have you ever been to Arkansas? No. It is one of those places that sometimes gets overlooked. Just sort of passed right over, sometimes forgotten, not spoken of much, but let me tell you, I have had some clients have um, a very wonderful time in different spots in Arkansas. And that is because there is a large variety of different things to do. And I do believe that it will suit your needs very well. Alright, so Arkansas, you can see, is just a bit towards the central parts of the country. Okay, so first we can have a look through the main travel guide. Okay, now this is something a little special that I thought you might be interested in. This is a pamphlet entirely dedicated to motorcycling in Arkansas. You never heard of that before. Okay. Well, we can have a look at this after, and that will go nicely if you do decide to choose Arkansas as your trip this year. I will provide you with this entire map of the state. Okay, lots to explore. Now the reason I'm suggesting Arkansas is because you mentioned you wanted to go someplace unexpected, someplace you've never been before. I believe that the length of time that you will be traveling would be perfect for a trip to Arkansas. You wanted some adventure. You also wanted some uh, time to relax and unwind, some swimming. There are plenty of lakes, um, but also you might choose to stay in a hotel. There are plenty of um, beautiful hotels with spas, pools, just like any other resort you might visit. So let's take a closer look here. You can see the beautiful picture on the cover. Now Arkansas has a lot of beautiful parks to visit. Lots of beautiful places to just take in some fresh air. Beautiful scenery. And I see this is a resort and spa on the lake. There's lots of activities. Okay, you can have some time spent. in nature, and there's a lot of nightlife as well, depending on which area of the state you will be staying in, but I can certainly help you with that. Now we can look here at the different events that will be taking place across the state, so you may want to choose uh, to go so that you can 
participate in one of these events, whichever is occurring on your dates of travel. See, there's um, lots of different uh, nightlife spots. Okay. Now you'll see while I'm just flipping through, you'll you'll get a better idea of the variety of things. So, one thing I thought you might be interested in is the mountain biking. It's well known for plenty of trails and Okay, road cycling, gravel grinding, mountain biking. I'm surprised that you have not heard of this area before. Look at this beautiful waterfall. The waterfalls of Arkansas. So for your dates of travel, you will be able to experience mostly everything we will see in this catalog. Okay. Rock out. Plan a hike to one of these natural wonders. See, play, stay. Okay. Look at this beautiful picture here. Okay. Float your boat. Lakeside. Fun. From day to night. And natural swimming holes. So, I think it's great to... You've got boating and floating. Lots of adventure. I do think it's great to come in and talk with a travel agent such as myself. You know, you can Google things. You can try and plan your trip by Googling best beaches in the world, best this and that, and oftentimes you will not see these less well-known places even mentioned. So, um, okay, you see this beautiful picture here? It's gorgeous. And when Googling for some trips, oftentimes the same places are mentioned. So I do, let's see, learning to fly. First time fly fisher. Right here. Said you enjoy fishing as well. Have you ever done any fly fishing? Okay. Um, so I recommend to all of my clients to look up um, the different states websites. Many of them offer free information and catalogs, brochures, coupons, okay. and you'll 
find some places to visit. There's some gardens that you may not find on some of the more popular Your Home for. Let's see, art, music, and inspiration. Um, so, yes, you may find some interesting places all over the world that maybe you won't um, see recommended museums. So much to do. Listen to the music. Lots of great music in this part of the country. Um, right, you won't uh, find a lot of these lesser known areas by looking on the popular travel sites. Okay. It's a great idea to just sort of do some research on your own. type vacation if you choose. Okay. But um, if you'd like to have a little of both worlds, you could stay in a nice hotel and just do some day trips. Lots of great food. You will not be disappointed. Okay. I think that's one thing that I myself think is very important when planning a trip. Whether or not the food is good because that can really ruin a trip um, if you're not enjoying the meals. As long as the food is good, that will make me happy. <laughs> okay, different um, economy type lodging off the beaten path stays. Okay. Water. Historic hotels. Okay, Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Index there. So 
that's that is all of this one. Okay, so again, I can provide you with the map. And this is the motorcycling guide. Okay, so this can be really, really helpful. Um, if you are leaning toward taking some um, ventures out on the motorcycle. We could plan the trip that way and you could sort of jump from spot to spot. Uh, but this gives you a nice guide of the best routes to take. Okay. And we could Go ahead with planning your trip that way. The natural state for motor motorcycling. There's also, of course, lots of ads in here. You get a map, a guided trail here. Tells you all of the things you will see along the way also provides um, spots for repair in case you end up needing to stop somewhere for service. Okay, there's information in here with all of the contact phone numbers and locations. gives you a itinerary so I can just let you have this if you do decide to um, head over to Arkansas okay ride through the path so you can see it's something different right with you. Okay. I can definitely do that. So let's look up that hotel that was in. Oh, oh, let me just see here. Let's see. So 
so I can look up some of the different areas and the pricing options. Okay, so if you stay in the spa area resorts and okay, that will be a how many miles away? Okay. at the map. Alright, so that hotel So that hotel that you were interested in Let's see, that was in the hot springs National Park area. Okay. Now, if you wanted, you could start here and then we could move on to some of the other areas that you also showed some interest. Okay. All right. So, let me just show you this map a little bit closer here. So this side of the map you can see is dividing up the different sections in Arkansas. Okay, so over here you see we have Bentonville, Rogers, Springdale, and let's see these different sections over here. Here we've got Helena and West Helena. Okay. Right here is Russellville. And then we have the Jacksonville area. Here is Van Buren. Bella Vista and up here we have Conway here is Jonesboro and right here is Hot Springs and this is where you did show a little bit of interest in visiting here this is where Hot Springs National Park is located so this park is said to be the oldest as well as the smallest national park in the world. Okay, uh, here we have Fort Smith. And down at the bottom here is Camden. Here we have Sherwood. This is Searcy. This is the Benton Bryant area. And all the way up here we have Little Rock and North Little Rock. Okay. Let's see. Here we have Pine Bluff. Down below is Cabot, and down below is West Memphis. Okay. Then we have El Dorado. Love that this pine block over here, Texarkana. And Paragold and Blytheville. Okay. So over here in this little key along the side, you can see what types of activities are available in each of the areas listed. Okay. 
So for instance, um, if you wanted to visit Hot Springs, let's find that here. Okay, so right here we have the National Park sites, Hot Spring National Park. They have camping available, fishing, there's also um, a launch ramp, okay, there's no lodge, there is a marina, and let's see, there is also a museum, there is a nature trail available there. And then we come over here, there is a picnic area, and they also have restrooms available, and they have swimming as well as a historic site. Okay, so you can see up here some of the things available in other areas. You might find cabins, camping, fishing, the launch ramp, a lodge, a marina, a museum, uh, or exhibits, nature trails, park uh, store, picnic area, some areas have a restaurant, restrooms, snack bar, showers, swimming, and historical sites. So you can choose where to visit uh, this way. Okay, but I know that you were interested in starting here, so I think that this would be a nice starting place. You could spend a few days in the Hot Springs National Park area. So if we start in the hot springs area, let's just give it three days, okay? We can always change the amount of time in each area. And let me pull up that area here. And we might be able to find some accommodations close to the park. Okay. So now when we look at this biking uh, catalog here, I wanted to just show you so, as I said before, you can see all of the different types of routes that you can take. This is a very helpful guide. Um, ride to food. That sounds good to me. But you can see here, this guide, um, riding a roller coaster. So this uh, gives an example of this writer's um, trip, and she gives everything she did. She started at the Arlington Resort Hotel and Spa, and that was on her first day. And here she lets you see what she did on day one. Day two. So day one, Arlington Resort Hotel and Spa. Day two, she did the main um, display spring. So twisting into town. She told you, she tells you where she ate. 
and what she did each day. Day three, she was uh, exploring the spa city. She started the morning in hot springs with blueberry pancake that was as big as my face at the pancake shop. And then she spent some time throughout the day strolling along the hot springs, national park, grand promenade, and bathhouse row. Okay. Uh, day three and day four. Uh, oh, that was day three. Day four, side trip and scenery. So this can be really helpful to see all of the little details. And uh, I just wanted to point out to you So this ride, you'll see a lot of history. Um, I wanted to just show you something in here. Yes. So for each of the routes, you can see how long it will take you to do all of the activities and ride the entire route. So, for instance, um, Scenic 7 Byway. This was a 6 hour and 46 minute trip. Alright, so we've got the hot springs. Okay, so let's see now. Let's talk about some more areas. Um, can read a little bit about some of the hot spots in Arkansas. Now, Arkansas is known as the natural state. Okay, there are two different mountain ranges, lots of different geological formations, limestone caves, diamond-filled craters, and acres and acres of protected forest with lots of rivers, lakes, and hot springs. There are a lot of areas, landmarks of important civil rights events. Okay. Um, I've told you all about the trails for cycling and uh, biking. You might want to visit the giant Budweiser can. Okay, civil rights landmarks. You can look up some of the most famous landmarks there. Um, how about the largest statue of Jesus Christ in the country? It's also a hot spot for a lot of cultural arts. A lot of local artists transform some of the open spaces into sculpture-filled art parks, elaborate stone labyrinths. Uh, let's see, we've got the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, and that is uh, courtesy of Walmart. So, born from the humble beginnings in Bentonville. Let's see, Bentonville. It's around here somewhere. Where did it go? I know we mentioned it. Um, so, the original uh, Walmart store is now a museum. Uh, but the company has invested billions of dollars into the area's infrastructure and arts. One place to note is the Walton Arts Center in Fayetteville. Okay. Okay, so that's Walmart. That is in Fayetteville. Okay, I'm just uh, writing down some of the things you might be interested in. Then we can plan a whole itinerary around your interests. So are you a um, fan of the HBO show True Detective? 
Okay, interestingly, some of the uh, movie scenes or, or show scenes were filmed in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So you can visit some of the places you may have seen on the show. Um, let's see, the historic old main building at the University of Arkansas. The subterranean restaurant Hugo's. Let's get the burger if you do go. And Devil's Den State Park all were featured in that show. And then you can travel just 30 minutes up the road to Bentonville and you can take a tour of the original Walton Five and Dime. Okay. Uh, Walton Money funded the World Class Crystal Bridges Museum, which houses an impressive free-to-visit permanent collection of American art and draws in nationally touring exhibition. That is the Crystal Bridges. Now these are all located in a close vicinity. So you could visit those all in one day. Uh, Crystal Bridges Museum. Okay. Let's see. These are all located near each other. Um, the futuristic facility is jaw dropping, incorporating lush outdoor trails, which take which take you past immersive sculptures by artists like James Turrell, and there's even a Frank Lloyd Wright designed home, and that is the Bachman Wilson House, Bachman Wilson. House. Okay, and let's read on just a bit. You could spend an entire weekend in Eureka Springs. Okay, Eureka Springs is not too far from Fayetteville. Um, let's see, it's like a cute little town. Sounds of Jazz from Downtown's uh, Basin Park. Let's see, 1886 Crescent Hotel, reportedly the most haunted hotel in America. Okay, that's Eureka Springs. This is here, Fayetteville, Eureka Springs, Haunted Hotel. Okay, um, let's see, this area, um, is known to be an artistic haven, um, catering to creatives of all types, Des destination for bikers, antique car owners, Okay. Natural Springs. You can visit the Blue Spring. Let's see, the Blue Spring uh, Heritage Center. Okay. Let's fix this here. And the award winning Thorn Crown Chapel, which was designed by E. Fay Jones, Arkansas native, and Frank Lloyd Wright. It's nestled in the woods and constructed of 48 feet of wood lattice and 6,000 square feet of glass. It blends beautifully into the surrounding trees and is free to visit. So that is the Thorn Crown. My pen wants to give up on me. Thorn Crown Chapel. Okay, you're familiar with Frank Lloyd Wright. Okay. And we've already talked about the Hot Springs. So up around here. That is 
say definite yes. Um, that is the smallest as well as the oldest national park in the United States. It dates back to 1832. It is historically known as America's Spa. It has 47 flowing thermal string springs. Okay, the area has drawn some famous people to come and soak in the springs. Um, let's see, sometimes they host a documentary film festival. Let's see, that was up here. There we go. The 210-acre Garvin Woodland Gardens, the Mid-America Science Museum, and plenty of art galleries, bathhouses, thoroughbred racing. Okay, so that is all here in the hot springs area. Okay, let's see. And Little Rock is uh, famous for lots of historic sites. The Clinton Library, um, the replica of the Oval Office, a presidential limo. Little Rock was up here. Okay. Streets. And it is also home to the Little Rock Central High School National Historic Site. Little Rock Central High. Okay. And that is where in 1957, uh, following the ruling of Brown versus the Board of Education, you are familiar with this. Nine black students were prevented from entering the school. Uh, it was a national crisis catalyst for the civil rights movement. So you can take a, um, a free tour of the still functioning high school. Okay. And let's see. All right, so um, also Arkansas, well, home of Johnny Cash. Okay, Dias Colony in Northeast Arkansas, which is also uh, the largest farming race settlement community in the nation. Okay. Um, so you can tour the home where Cash lived during his high school years, okay? Um, they also hold an annual three-day music and heritage festival. All right, so these are all sort of, you know, day or weekend type trips, depending on which, you know, how much time you'd like to spend doing each thing. It's a lot to do. Okay. Oh, one last thing. Let's see. We have... We have something I wanted to bring up here. Uh, the Crater of Diamonds State Park. Okay. Crater of Diamonds. State Park. All right, so this park is um, where the general public can pan for diamonds in their original volcanic source. It costs $10 to get you access to 37 acres of dirt mounds and any rocks, minerals, or gemstones you find are yours to keep. The park was created in 1972, and since then, more than 33,100 diamonds have been claimed. There's also swimming, skiing, scuba diving, boating, and kayaking in the area. All right. Okay, so I will look up all of the dates 
have all of these events for you. Okay. And I think we got a good start. So the last step will be planning out the en entire itinerary and all of the dates and all of the prices for you. And that is what I will move on to next. So while I'm doing some research, you can have a look at any of these materials here. You can also look at some of the other areas and states that I showed you. All the pamphlets are right over there. So I will put together an itinerary for you and then we can make some decisions, okay? All right, well, thank you so much, and I'll let you know when I am ready, okay? All right. All right. So, I'm going to look up availability in that spa resort. Okay, so your dates were, okay, let's see, alright, they do have availability, that looks perfect, and let's see if they've got, enough rooms available. Oh. 